Hey y'all, it's Lala with Lala Farm. Uh, today we're going to be putting down some more memory stones. So, here we go. So as you know from a previous video that Rick Edward did, um, we have a memorial tree on our property where we have um, placed um, previous uh, animals um, from our family. We have um, dogs that were raised with the kids. We have um, dogs that uh, our kids raised after they moved out of the house. Um, we have cats, we have bunnies, and we have a guinea pig. All of them uh, have been placed out here near the memory tree and we have a bench that we come out to and sit on and the grandkids can come out and visit um, with their animals anytime they want and talk to them. Uh, Abigail comes out here quite fre frequently. She has a um, min pin that my daughter had from the time she was in high school all the way up through uh, the early um, stages of her marriage and uh, that puppy is what we always called him, Muzzy, um, attached himself to Abigail and was with her all the time. Um, he was very protective of her. And when he passed away, it was really, really hard on Abigail. So she frequently comes out here and visits with Muzzy, Muzzy and she talks to him all the time. Um, we also have uh, Abigail's guinea pig, Cow Cow. And I know that's a funny name for a guinea pig, but she named him Cow Cow because he was black and white and looked like a cow. Um, and uh, we have gotten his stone today, and so we're going to go ahead and let her place that um, where Cow Cow is buried. And we have Bruno's stone. Um, he was one of our livestock guardian dogs who's no longer with us. Uh, we got his stone as well. And then um, we have <coughs> a stone for Lulu, um, who is a dog that uh, Rick and Chels had for... Um, quite a while they had uh, Rick had actually gotten that dog even before he met Chelsea and um, was uh, a big part of their life and just recently has passed away and um, so we have her stone although Lulu's not buried here in uh, the memory garden um, Lulu was afraid of thunder and lightning and she hated being outside um, she just did not like it she would go outside long enough to do some business and then go right back inside so Chelsea just could not bring herself to um, put Lulu out here in the memory garden so she had her cremated and she sits on a shelf next to her, Chelsea and Rick's bed so um, but we do have a memory stone for her and we've got some other memory stones that will be coming in the near future as well so um, Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and place those stones, and we are asking that you be a part of that with us. And um, just, you know, this is how we do our farm. Ones that are really close to us, we like to memorialize them. So, here we go. The one right there says he's touching us, right? Abigail's very tender hearted. So, she. So now we have Cow Cow. He's buried right here, right beneath the memorial tree. So that we know exactly where he is. And anytime Abigail comes to the farm, she can come over and see Cow Cow and talk to him. We're gonna let um, Madeline place Lulu's um, stone because um, Lulu was a part of Rick and Chelsea's family and was very close to Madeline and so um, Madeline's gonna go ahead and place her stone so yeah you want it right next to the bench so you can see it right where it is I think that's a good place for it honey so there we go and then Amalia's gonna put Bruno's stone down for him so come on baby he's over here right there Right here? Yeah, nope, right over here. See this little mound of grass right here? Why don't you go ahead and put it right there? Right there? Yep. 
That's a perfect spot for Bruno. All right. So. <clears throat> I'm gonna straighten that out just a little bit. And then, now we always know where Bruno is. So, we thank you for joining us and um, being a part of this with us. It's, it's really hard on the kids, but they all know that um, part of having animals is your in your life is the loss of those animals. Um, and this is just a way for our family to acknowledge their present in our presence in our life and um, to be uh, respectful of that and to memorialize them. So uh, now, as Lala, the grandma, I'm going to sign off because I've got a couple of little ones over here crying uh, because of the sadness. And uh, so thank you so much for watching. Um, we appreciate all of uh, our um, subscribers and we um, just are really thankful that all of you take part in our farm and, and you know, keep up with things. And uh, so once again, please hit that subscribe button and uh, ring that bell. Thanks again. Remember, always be kind to one another. Mm -hmm.